All right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Robocop with Metal Chair Docking Station from Hot Toys and Sideshow Collectibles. This is a full die-cast figure, or mostly a die-cast figure. You can see me in the box thing, but you can see the box there. It's very cool. you got to love the packaging on Hot Toys and the show, Sideshow stuff, because you look, you can see that not only do you have the real nice packaging, but you get all the names of the creators on here. Now this is a bit shiny, so it may be harder to read, but there we go. Now we're going to open this box up and take a look inside. Now we got the package open. You can see we have a very large styrofoam-like container with the RoboCop cut into the top. And we also have the instruction manuals. Now these are very important to read. Yes, it's a toy, but you still want to read these because sometimes there's little things you need to know before you get started. Now, I am going to read that, but before I do, I just want to open up the top of this and give you guys a first look inside. As you can see, we've got Robocop, multiple hands, multiple chest pieces and faces, got an extra helmet, guns, and of course, the metal docking chair. That's the big thing on this particular figure, is you get the docking chair as well. So let me take a look at the uh, manual real quick, make sure I'm doing everything right, and then I'll pull this one. I think I'm actually going to start with the docking station. It's a little bit different. Normally I'd want to pull the figure out and get started on that. But let's see. Let's see here, we've got a stand for it, which is cool. But probably just use the docking station overall. Let's pull out. Oh, this is a nice big section. Just a look at this. Here we go. There is the base of the chair. See, it's got little, little casters on it, like it's being rolled. Place to put the feet. Back, the headrest, information station. All very nice. Let me get this unwrapped. All right, I have that part put together. You can see here we have the rest of the stand and the little sign thing there. So we'll put that aside. We have the back here. I've got the cable that I guess hooks up to him. You've got nice little detail work here in the wiring. And a couple of plate things that have to be attached. So I'll be putting those together. We've got a little monitor and smaller little monitors. I guess I need to aim the camera better. better. Sorry about that. So smaller little monitors. And we will get those affixed and see what happens next. The one downside I see on this is the bottom of the chair. You're supposed to be able to put these wires in according to the instructions. But they're just a little bit too big to fit in easily into the holes in the bottom. So that's probably the first negative thing I've seen on this. But not too bad. I'm sure I could trim those down or maybe with a little pair of pliers or something. I could force those in. But this does seem a little more difficult than it should be. Should be. This is the figure straight out of the box. As you can see, fully formed. Nice, strong metal feet, the legs. I'm told that the legs open up to put the guns in. The chest, face mask, and helmet. Very nice looking. I'm gonna turn this around the back. choose to stand at this moment but we'll just hold it up so that's it I just need to get him out of the plastic and we can play with the uh, accessory so here he is with all the plastic removed as I've said in easier in earlier reviews these figures are so well packaged you are more likely to damage them trying to get them out of the packaging than you are to get one damaged from shipping here we can see some of the points of articulation you can see that the feet move at the toes and at the ankles. The knee moves very easily at the joint there, it clicks, and at the hip it moves. The arms actually seem like they come off if you want to. They are magnetically hooked in there, so that's very nice. And they bend at the, at the elbow and turn at the wrist and at the shoulder. So pretty nice levels of articulation there. See him seated in the chair set nicely. The thing is though, you can't actually put his feet on the little uh, footrest 
Maybe he's just too big for that. I don't remember in the movie if he actually had them on the footrest or not. But if you want him to actually be seated in the chair, the feet come down past. But that's not much to complain about. So. Now, if you want to, you can swap out and put in the battle damaged helmet and the battle damaged chest plate, which makes it a pretty interesting thing to have him in the chair that way. Also, he comes with multiple faces, so you could have him with different expressions, everything from open mouth to talking to the non plus one that he's wearing right now. As you can see, I've changed out his hand to one of the most articulate hands I've ever seen. It actually allows you to bend at each joint or each knuckle. So that's pretty amazing. Hard to get a shot of that being it's all black, but see his pinky sticking out right now like he's drinking a cup of tea. Also, I've put the battle damaged chest on. I've given him a face that he looks like he's in more pain and a battle damaged helmet. Finally, with him up on the stand, you can see that his hip opens up to reveal the waiting weapon. Yep, does that on both sides. So you've got both guns. You've also got this great detail in the work here. This is a really, really cool figure, folks. This is actual metal on plastic. There's a lot of magnetics holding things together. There is also a uh, voice activated part, which comes with the remote control that uh, if I figured out that Robocop logo is actually a remote control for the sounds that he can make. Now, the bad side is that when putting this together, I didn't realize you needed a special kind of battery, which I never heard of before, but that's what you need two of them for this particular figure. It is called a LR1 AMS one and a half volt not included. So that's why I don't have it speaking right now. But as you can see, this is the set. It's really cool. I like it a lot. And I will be putting this up with my Thor and Predator figures. So that is my review. This is the Robocop uh, with mechanical docking chair. This is an awesome toy from Hot Toys and Sideshow Collectibles, and I do recommend it. I think it's pretty neat if you're a RoboCop fan, if you're a fan of the old school RoboCop. No, no, you know, not the new one. This is, this is definitely the Peter Weller version, so at least it is to me. So if you were uh, looking for this kind of thing, this is a great pickup, and it is available on the Sideshow Collectibles website. And that's about it. So thank you for watching.